Hey guys, it's been a long time since I've actually vlogged. I feel like two weeks YouTube time is just too long. I really should just vlog often and just talk because it's, I like it this way where I talk and you don't. And you listen if you want. If you don't, I don't care. Because talking to people in real life goes two ways. Either the person you're talking to or talking with is just like, duh, and they can't keep up with you, you know? You know? Or they're just really good talkers. And then you're the one who can't keep up. And that's usually me who can't keep up with the conversation or I just can't pay attention long enough to really care. So this works out well. Anyways, um, a while back I did a video about the things I don't miss about Korea. So it would only make sense for me to do a video of stuff that I really, really miss about Korea. What am I do with my hands? Don't touch your face. Before we get started, I just want to say that these things that I like about Korea aren't necessarily only in Korea. These situations don't only happen in Korea, they could happen anywhere. And, maybe, and, these, and some things that Korea has, other countries might have. So it's not solely Korea, but these are just things that I've experienced while I was living there and I really liked or really enjoyed a lot. Let's get started! Oh my god! Yeah! The first time I was in Korea, I was walking around and I was trying to go to Namsan Tower. And I was looking, I was like, I can see it! I can see the tower! But how, how do I get there? What's the station? Staying there for that short amount of time, I just assumed there would be a station called Namsan Tower Station. Seoul Tower Station. Something like that. But there wasn't. It wasn't that obvious, especially for someone who was in Korea for the first time. I asked around, and the funny thing is I asked for Namsan Tower Station. I don't remember exactly what people were saying because my Korean wasn't good, but I'm sure they were like, there's no such thing. But they wanted to help me, so they pretended to look at the map looking for Namsan Tower Station. Eventually, I got off at a station that somebody said, it's, it's close to this station, go here. Oh, there it is, I see it, I'm gonna walk. I'm just walking towards the tower, and it, like, but the roads don't go like go straight and there's no signs that I can read. So I'm just walking around and it's maybe 30-40 minutes walking around and I'm just like, dude, I see it! It's right there! Why can't I get to it? I decided to stop in Popeyes to grab some food. I know, super Korean, right? Popeyes. I sit there and eat and I'm sitting by myself and I see this couple and I thought, hey, why don't I ask them how I get there? And with my really broken Korean, Namsane Kago Shipoyo Tower Kago Shipoyo Otoke And they were talking to each other and then they looked at me and they were saying things but I didn't understand. I really just did not understand. I'm sure they were like, oh you can't walk there. You have to take a car there, but I didn't understand those words. I'm sitting there with just like this really blank look on my face. They're done eating and I'm about to leave, just like, okay, yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. The girl goes, oh, we're, we're gonna take you there in our car but I didn't understand and so she's just like like gesturing me to go with them and then at this point I'm just like what am I doing I'm following these like random strangers and I'm not sure where they're taking me maybe they're taking me to a bus stop or maybe they're gonna point me in the right direction so we, we go to the parking lot and I'm really freaking out I'm like oh my god what are they gonna do to me I'm in this country all by myself, I don't know anybody here and at this time, you know, it was late, it was dark and I'm just like and so they tell me to get in their car and stupid me, I just get in their car I'm just like, yeah, sure and they're trying to talk to me, they're just trying to get to know me but in the back of my mind, I'm just like, where are they taking me? where are they taking me? I'm scared it turned out okay, they took me to the bottom of the tower where the cable car is to where you get closer to the tower. They were really, really nice. Um, they dropped me off and I said thank you and then bye. I see the cable cars, I'm like, you know, I'll just walk. So I'm walking 
and it's 30 minutes, no big deal. There are, there are people walking down, it's just like a spiral, I think, if I remember correctly. And I'm like, this is taking a long time, it's been 30 minutes, and there's like... Like, I look at the tower, like, I see it, but where does it go? Where am I going? Ugh! I'm walking, and it's been maybe about 45 minutes now, and I'm thinking about giving up. And so, I turn around, and pretty much I just give up. I know that wasn't leading up to anything, but I just give up. But the point of that story was, Korean people are really nice. They take you in their car, and they don't try to kill you, and they take you where you need to go. Oh, that was pretty good. Um, hold on. <laughs>